Um, first of all, we're, what we're talking about today is uh, Alcoholic Prevention Week at the University. But some of you have asked, what are some things that you can eat that are super healthy, super good? When I used to work for a doctor, and he had patients come from all over the world to him, he was a natural doctor. Uh, I did the um, nutritional analysis for the patients and all this type of thing. The one thing that he gave the cancer patients was apricot seeds, raw apricot seeds. Raw apricot seeds have a vitamin in them that you don't find in a lot of food. But raw apricot seeds <coughs> and almonds both have it in. But you want them raw, okay? Apricot seeds has what they call vitamin B17. Another name for it is laetrile. Okay? And it really, it really gives cancer a rough time. It really does. Matter of fact, cancer cannot live in the presence of it very good at all. These are extremely bitter. And usually things that are bitter are poison, but these are not poison. But they're bitter, but I've seen them work in this. Really good. Now, it's the very same thing that you get from an apricot. You crack an apricot, seeds in it, like it. Almonds, there's a saying that you eat 10 almonds a day, you'll never come down with cancer. And when I heard that, I thought, oh, how can you say that? I didn't know until later, until I worked for that doctor, that these have later in vitamin B17, which encapsulates the cancer and takes it out. Okay, but it's got to be raw. Anytime you cook a food, you lose the enzymes. Okay, enzymes is what has the body to metabolize the food. You're born with so many enzymes at birth, but the more cooked food you eat, I mean, all cooked food, it destroys the enzymes, especially microbes. But if you eat it raw, and this is what I want to talk to you about today, especially means we're talking about like um, alcoholic. Uh, alcohol addiction, which is a drug. Alcohol is one of the most abused drugs. And if you got to see the, um, the poster out here, you saw that most movies, whenever they have alcohol in them, what do they say? They say, I need a drink. It solves all problems. But you're going to see today, it does not solve problems. It actually causes big, big problems in the body. But what can you do if you're getting off of any type of substance abuse? The number one thing is you want to get yourself um, in a good cleanse, a good detox, and you want to eat good food. This is one time raw, 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 raw. Um, I've known people who have had cancer, and have any of you heard of uh, George Malcolmus? Okay, you know he had cancer, and he went on the raw for a whole year. And you know, I've seen it happen over and over and over. What is so important about raw fruits, nuts, grains, and vegetables? They're full of enzymes, they're full of nutrients. Okay? But anyway. Um, and you're going to see too that caffeine, all these different things that you drink that has, uh, or coffee that has caffeine in it, because it works on the central nervous system, it makes you want to crave them. This is called dandelion bland. All it is is like dandelion. Okay, but it tastes like coffee. Dandelions are super good for the liver. The one thing that alcohol attacks is the liver. It attacks the liver big time. And eventually it will shut it down totally if you keep, the, uh, if you keep drinking a lot of alcohol. With alcohol. Um, apple, apple day, keep the doctor away. You better believe that apples are super good for now, if you cut this apple, there's apple seeds, there's about, there's about four to six apple seeds in here. <coughs> if you eat those apple seeds, those apple seeds have the very same thing in them as, as far as the vitamin B17 that the uh, apricot seeds and the almonds have in them. But you cannot, I mean, you can eat a handful of these and you can eat a handful of these. 
you cannot eat a handful of apple seeds. Apple seeds are good for you if you eat the apple seed right with this apple, okay? But if you ate a handful of them, you kill. Many of them have uh, heard of people who have. Because not only does it have vitamin B17 in it and Lyotrail in it, but it also has arsenic. But it's just a small amount that doesn't bother you. But if you saved all these apple seeds from the whole bushel of apples and you ate them, you wouldn't be here. Okay? So, but that's the same way with like, you don't want to overdo anything good. Like the one boy who had, uh, he drank a whole five gallon thing of water and died. And you heard about the woman who did that. Well, you know, she, because the body, the water, you, you can't overdo even good things. Sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds are super good, especially for guys. They keep guys in. Zinc is very high in, paper, uh, in um, pumpkin seed, or patillas, either way, whatever you want to call it. Um, zinc to a man is what iron is to a woman. If you don't have it, you're going to really be hurt. You've got, men have got to have zinc. Women have got to have iron. Um, another thing that I learned with this doctor that I worked for, whenever a person had um, any time, when they had a stroke, the first thing he put them on, black strap molasses, black strap molasses. It feeds the brain. It feeds the brain. It? As a matter of fact, a lot of people can tell before they're going to have a stroke that they're going to have it. They'll start slurring the words or, you know, different little telltale things. Okay, black strap molasses, and for girls, when your iron goes down, dates. Remember dates. Excellent. Full of iron. Super good for you. Uh, when my husband and I used to work at a health food store, um, and a restaurant, there was a um, big construction guy came in, and he asked me, he said, "I get tired very easily." What can I do to, you know, have energy? And so he thought that I was going to take him over to the um, Biden's. No, no, no. I took him to Nature's Biden. I took him to the Dates. I took him over there and I said, eat some of these every day. Well, you know, like six times a day, six times a week. You do not want to do anything every day. A lot of people say, well, it's good to open it. No, your body eventually will have warp, warp, and you will not get as much from it if you should get from it. But anyway, this guy tried it, big construction guy, and he came back every week. He says, lady, it works. It works. I don't get that drag out feeling because dates are super good for you. Iron, micronutrients. Uh, for women, especially like, uh, during that time of month, right after that time of month, you, you feel weak, you feel tired, because you actually lose a lot of iron during that time of month. And you need to build it back up. You build it up with days. You can build it up with organic um, molasses. Um, Hippocrates said years ago, make your food your medicine, make your medicine your food. That's what you want to do, okay? Because your food is what you made of. Uh, for convenience, like we have made different types of bars and different things, and cookies and candies. They've all been natural, and you say, well, I don't always have time to do this. There are granola bars that you can buy. This one is one that doesn't have a lot of junk in it, doesn't have white sugar in it. Be a label reader. See, well, what does it have in it? Because a lot of times, the granola bar will have an egg in it or have white sugar in it, and you don't want that kind of thing. You don't need that kind of thing. And like some people will say, well, you know, is, there's no cereals I can buy. Yes, there are cereals you can buy that are whole grain. Like this one here is a multi-